And we're back in the Stone Creek Kitchen with Executive Chef Brian Firestein from Cask 63, making an artichoke and rice salad. Um, we also made a uh, like a warm bacon vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now to the scallops. And now to the scallops. So the one thing with scallops, you definitely want to try to find fresh scallops. Mm -hmm. If you find frozen scallops, the thing you need to do with them is thaw them out in your refrigerator. Don't thaw them under water. Um, they'll wind up getting you know, too much moisture. And really, frozen scallops are really hard to cook because all the water leaches out of them. You really want to try to find the fresh product. But if you do have to wind up with frozen scallops, again, just thaw them out under room temperature and then dry them off. Let mm -hmm. them sit in between two paper towels. Let them get really dry. So we're, again, just going to season Real simple, kosher salt and black pepper. They're super healthy too. Huh? I wish Tiffany Bacchus was still here. I think that they're like. A yeah, they're really not. There's, they're really not bad for you. Not high in fat at all, and and really of of I seafood. They're a good they're little really protein good, kind of good source for you. too. So again, each side we're just going to season lightly with salt and pepper. And pepper, you definitely, if you don't have a pepper mill, should invest in one. They're really not that expensive, and the flavor of fresh cracked pepper versus the stuff that sits on the grocery store shelf for who knows how long is, is definitely worth the investment. I think for a couple of years since we, you yeah, haven't been here in like a year. It's been a year. And um, I used to always complain to you that I didn't have a pepper mill. Do you, do you know that I finally got a pepper mill? Good. My girlfriend got tired of hearing me say on TV, I don't have a pepper mill. <laughs> so she bought one and I use it almost every day. It's perfect, yeah, it's really, it really is, it really does make a world of difference for something so small. And then you want to again start in like a medium high heat pan. If, just a, basically a tablespoon of olive oil, and you really could do this without um, the olive oil in a nonstick pan, but the olive oil really helped get a nice caramelization on the scallops. What you're looking for is to bring out the natural sugar in the scallops. You want to see a really oh. nice dark brown crust. And sh scallops have a really, uh, really good flavor when they're fresh. They're nice and sweet. They have a, a lot of natural sugar in them. And basically what we're looking for, I put those ones in, but you really, you, you see a really nice, rich, deep brown color. And the key with scallops is you don't want to overcook them. Basically, you know, two minutes on each side for the larger scallops mm -hmm. is really all you need. You go any more than that. You really want them to be medium rare to medium, you know, just warm through, uh, translucent still in the center. If you overcook them, they wind up being really rubbery and kind of right. hard and just kind of gummy. So we're going to grab our rice salad that we have, and it's just held warm. Again, we have you know, the nice wild rice and the artichokes Did you and put tomatoes. the sauce in there? Or that no, the, we're going to do it on top. Because okay. you really kind of want some of the bacon to, you know, the bacon flavor to go on top of the, Gosh, uh, that the, looks good. the scallops. And, you know, really light would be great any time of the year. We've got our sauce right here. We're just going to reserve this for a second. We're going to grab these scallops that we just... We just cooked. We'll give them another. Can I just mention too? You guys are open because you're a brand new restaurant, so we want to let everybody know about you. You're open. What is it, eleven to one or so? Eleven to three for lunch every okay. day. We really don't shut down. Our bar never shuts down. We have a happy hour from four to six every day in our bar. We have uh, five dollar drinks, five dollar wines, and half off select appetizers. Pretty much most of our appetizers. I'm pretty impressed are half with the price off. point on this. Anything from six to like seventeen bucks, and yeah. the most expensive thing on the menu. That's a yeah. great, that's a great price point. And then we're gonna go ahead and top. Basically, just do a little bit, and I know you, you like bacon, so we're going to add a little bit of the bacon oh, on there. Oh, that looks good. And really, I mean, the, the worst thing in here for you is the bacon. You know, you really basically have olive oil and balsamic vinegar, so if you really wanted to make it healthy, you could go without bacon. It's not going to taste as good. Look at that. My and then goodness. I'm going to do a little chef -y trick. We're going to garnish with a little bit of microgreens, and this is actually something that was really hard to find in, in stores, but now really is readily available. You can find, you know, different sprouts and and microgreens and all of that. And then the last little chefy trick, and it's really pretty easy, is, is one of these. Pesto? It's actually just a chive oil okay. or parsley oil. Really, really easy. You take your blender, you take some parsley and some baby spinach or fresh spinach and throw it in there and blend it until it's completely blended up. And, and a little olive oil with, too? And a little bit of olive oil and you end up with a really nice. How long will that stay? The oil will keep for probably four or five days. Okay. It's the, it starts you know, losing color, but you know, really just a great, great that Trick. looks really, really, really good. Really good. All right, so here's how you can get out to Cask 63. It's at 8877 North Scottsdale Road in Scottsdale. The phone number is right there on the screen, and we'll have information on Sonoran Living on how you can get out there and try out this brand-new restaurant.